This way of weaving in ends is considered the correct way of doing it. Uh, chances are though, if you're weaving in your ends and they're staying put, you're okay. This way does maintain the elasticity of the work. So let me show you how to do this. I'm using a jumbo swatch to make it easier to see. So with this contrasting color, I'm going to show you how to weave the end into the back of the work. You take a close look, you'll see loops that I call umbrellas and smiles. Umbrellas and smiles. All the way across. So first up, I'm going to put the needle into an umbrella, angle my needle over to the left, and put it into a smile. Tighten that up, or pull it through. Then I'm going to follow this smile around, go down, I'm sorry, follow this umbrella around, go down into a smile, angle my needle over to the right, go down into an umbrella, and pull that through. You'll start to see a pattern here. Follow this smile up into the umbrella, back into the same smile, and pull it through. Follow the umbrella, down into the smile, down into the umbrella. Starting to see it? Follow the smile, up into the umbrella, up into the smile. Follow, down, down. Always going back into the same stitch on the second loop. Follow, up, up. You see this here, I've left it really loose. You can see how this kind of figure eights down and around through all of that. And even though I'm using a contrasting color, it doesn't show, well it doesn't show much, it shows a little bit right here. It doesn't show on the front of the work at all. And it's just as stretchy as it was before. That's how to weave in your ends on the back of a stockinette piece.